For this trick, I'm going to show you how to label items. For on this page, if you look and you hover over any of these shapes, the word of what type of shape it is comes up. So that's a thing you can use for shape review. Now I'm going to show you how I created this page. So if I go to the next page, this time we'll stick with review and we'll do colors. So I'm going to change my color, make this a little bit bigger, and I'm going to say color review. So now I'm going to have various colors. Um, in order to not confuse the students, I'm going to keep all of my shapes circles. And so I'm going to have a red circle, and then I'm just going to duplicate this circle. So I'm simply copying and pasting so that I have several circles. Another way you can duplicate is by clicking on it and then the two white squares, pressing it allows you to duplicate as well. All right, so right now I have all red circles. So we're gonna change the colors by clicking on the paint can and simply painting them various colors. All right, so now I have several different colors on my screen. Um, so then I'm going to click on one of those colors and I'm gonna go to View and Browsers and see where this says Labels here and I'm on my Property Browser which is the white uh, page and I'm on Label and I'm just going to simply type red. Now that I have my label, I can change the different size of my label, I mean font of my label, as well as size. If you're having your students read it in the back of the room, it's best to have a font size 22 or above. Um, I can change my font color. If I want it to have like an outline, I can do that. But um, I want it to have a transparent background. And I don't want it to always stay on because then I can't test the students to see if they know the answer. So I'm going to do a tool tip. Now you can see it's not on, but if I come over here, it highlights and it shows up. So I've done my tool tip for red. So to do that again, I'm going to go to a different color, type my answer. I can change my font if I wish to. And my size again. And then I'm not going to do an outline. I want the background to be transparent and tool tip. So now when I hover over here, it says my color. So I'll continue that for all of my shapes, um, sorry, colors. And when I'm finished, I will have a color review for my students. So now that I have finished adding all the tool tips, labels, I can use this as, in a classroom as a self-check where the students would come up to the board and they would write what color they think the shape is and then they would have the arrow and they would hover to see if they're correct. If you wanted to use this over and over for several groups, you can make a copy prior to the student's writing by erasing their writing. And then right click, copy, next page, paste, paste, paste. So you see how I have three in a row. If I have three different groups, one group could do it. Then I can go to the next page and the next group could do it. 
and then you would see who got what correct at the end.